So now in this video, we will be setting up MongoDB. So we will be setting up on a cloud. So I'll be making use of this MongoDB Atlas. So you can sign in into your account or if you can create a new one if you don't have. So I have already logged into my account. So I'll be creating a new project. So let's click here. Now let's give it a name of let's say Insta 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 Instagram clone Instagram clone right okay I click on next and create project now we need to create a cluster so I will click on this build a cluster we will be selecting this free one so click here and uh, we will go with everything default so right if you can select your nearest region but I'll go with the de default one and make sure has it here it is written free and click on this create cluster now this will take a let's say here it is it is shown that it will take a one to three minutes to create a cluster so what i will do i will pause the video and i will resume it once it is being done right once it's done and it's done so now we will be clicking on this network access and here we will be clicking on this add IP address. Now you know you can add your current IP address but you need to change this when you will change your service provider but I will be I will go with this allow access from anywhere this will allow access from anywhere right so we can connect with our database from any IP address right okay. So you can go with that as well because we are on to the development side and it's fine, right? And let's wait for a few seconds. Uh, it is showing this pending and it's done. So now we will be creating a user here. Click on this database access and we will be creating a new database user. Let's give it a name of let's say Mukesh, M-U-K-E-S-S Mukesh and password or we can create an auto generate secure password. Click on this show and copy this and go to VS Code and we will uh, write uh, here. We can get rid of this code, right? Rest of the code. And, and now we can click on this add user. Now we can go to our clusters and we can click on this connect and we will be connecting to your application and I will click on this copy right now in here we will be storing the sensitive data in a separate file so I'll create a separate file I will give it a name of keys.js and here I'll be writing module.exports and maybe in capital letter mongo uri and control v now we can copy this password control c and we can uh, paste it in here control v right we can save this file right we can save this file now uh, we will be installing a package right which really makes uh, easy right to perform queries and it really makes uh, communicating easy with the mongodb right it really makes to communicate with the mongo database and the name of that package is mongoose so i will install npm install mong wsd right so yeah and it's done so let's use that so i'll be requiring that mongoose const mong wsd mongoose and require mongoose and now we can connect to our database so i'll be using connect method from mongoose connect and I can get rid of this right and in this connect we need to pass a URL so we can destructure that URL from our keys file so require and dot slash keys and that is mongo URI and we can pass this mongo URI to this connect method mongo URI this one now here I'll be writing mongoose dot connection dot on right and inside this on connected CEO double N E C T D connected when uh, we are successfully connected to our database then this callback function will fire 
and inside here we can write console dot log c o w n e c connected to mongo yeah okay or inside the codes like so and i will duplicate that by pressing alt shift down key and if we got any error e w r o r error so we will log that error so here we can write error c o w n e c t i n d connecting and here i can receive that error right and here i can show that error right i can log that error okay so let's save this and let's uh start our development server by typing nodemon app and here you can see server is running and i think it is connecting over oh, here we can see console.log that connected to mongo yeah so we have successfully connected to our database but we are getting a little warnings in here so it is telling us to pass this newer url parser true and new unified topology true so let's pass these two options to get rid of this warning so here i'll be passing new url parser and that is true and use what was the other so other was used unified topology so i'll be copying this control c and control v and let's save this and now let's see the warning should be gone so here we can see we have we didn't got any warning and it is connected to mongo yeah right it is showing connected to mongo yeah so yeah we have successfully connected to our database right so in the next video we will be starting further right we will be coding further so i'll see you guys in the next video